Chromium is launching automatically in headless mode, headless in false. Execute it again. You can see that now it is working as expected. Hey masters, welcome back to Joy Media. Welcome back to another amazing video of web test automation. In this case, we're gonna be a start the reviewing of Playwright. What is Playwright? As you probably know, it is another framework based on JavaScript, Python, .NET, or Java. Yes, it is cross language. We can use any of those to, to run Playwright. And well, it is, if I am not wrong, developed by the Microsoft team, which is cool. And well, it, we can execute our test in Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Opera, and Safari. That's basically the, the overview of this, okay? Uh, in this video, what you can expect is to review a bit of the documentation over here. Then we're gonna be installing in Python, the pip um, package, which is the package installer for Python. You're gonna understand what I'm gonna do in a few seconds. And also we're gonna be uh, well, writing down our very first script using synchronous mode and then an asynchronous mode using the as async io library that we have in python okay so i hope that you kind of enjoy this kind of videos because we're going to be exploring something new okay the first step that we're going to do is review a bit of the documentation you can see that it is cross browser it is cross platform we can run our tests in windows linux and mac os locally or in ci cd headless or head mode that's amazing then we have cross language we can use typescript javascript python.net java and we can perform kind of test mobile web because we have native mobile emulation of google chrome for android and mobile safari that's basically what they are telling us there then we have resilient and no flaky tests why because they offer out of weight that's amazing we have web first assertions which means that it checks or the checks are automatically retried until the necessary conditions are met and we have tracing feature we're going to review more about the tracing in the next video so please subscribe and be patient because i'm gonna i want to review that then we have no trade offs we have no limits for that because because you can see that they are telling us that we can multiple everything what it means basically we can have a scenarios to span multiple tabs we can use multiple origins and multiple users that's amazing it is well automatically or actually inbuilt and there is no extra uh, configuration to be done that's very cool then we have trusted events or events our elements interact with dynamic controls produce trusted events and and so on right and then we have that we can test frames peers shadow dom and and so on we can check more of that in the future videos then it, it is saying that we have full isolation fast execution because it is browser context it means that um Playwright creates a browser context for each test, okay? So it means that every, every single browser context is gonna be a brand new browser profile for that particular execution. That's cool. And we can, uh, for example, uh, save the authentication state to share the, the authentication state with other um, browser instances or yeah, the browser context, okay? That's basically what, what they're telling us. They have a code gen. It is, if I am not drawing a kind, a kind of record and play tool, I'm planning to, to check that as well. And we have a Playwright Inspector and a trace, trace Viewer that I want to show you in the next video. All right, so let's go ahead and install Python. What we need to do in order to install Python is pretty easy. You have to come here to python.org, um, come here to the downloads section and download the, 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 well, the, the installer for your operating system in my case i'm using windows but if you are in mac os you have you just have to come here and click on mac os and download the installer it is also telling us that we have uh, some docker images i'm not pretty sure but I'll, I'll have to take a look of that as well all right so um obviously there has to be a docker image for this <laughs> all right uh, I, I, well i have downloaded i already downloaded the python so I'm, i just you just have to come here click on that button download python the version that you are seeing probably is newer than this one because well python is growing a lot and well in my downloads folder you're gonna see that i have this um well installer and in your case you're gonna be you're gonna have a button saying that install uh, from scratch in my case it is telling me to modify but i can show you what i installed right i installed the documentation pip or pip uh, then we have the well some some other stuff python test suite and i 
also recommend you to check on PyLauncher and select the add Python to environment variables because if you're using Windows, the, the environment variables management is kind of tricky and this is going to be an automatically set up that is going to uh, avoid you a lot of headaches, okay? So install it for all. Or that's something that I recommend for you, okay? So now that you have installed pip in macOS, or I'm sorry, in Windows, I just wanted to tell you how to install pip in macOS because it is a bit different. And the way that I did, because I have tried uh, to play right in macOS and it works smoothly, well, it is that you need to have Python 3 installed, all right? And then you have to do a curl to the well, the PIP package, basically. It is gonna be downloaded the package and then you have to installing, install it using Python 3 and the package that you already downloaded over here, okay? That's it. And now you're gonna have a, a kind of similar behavior here if you're using Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. If you use Python, you're gonna have access to the Python uh, console, right? And if I, uh, well, actually use the command PIP or PIP, it is gonna tell us a lot of commands that we have available to use. Okay, that's it. Now we are ready. We are ready to use Playwright in our operating system. What is the next step? Basically, we have to use the following three commands. The first one is gonna be an upgrade for the PAP uh, package or the PIP. Okay. You can see that I have done already. It is saying that this requirement already satisfied. It is updated or upgraded at the, to the latest version. So I'm going to clear the console. Then I'm going to be executing pip install playwright. That's, that's it. And well, it is going to install all the different packages and, and dependencies that we need. Right. That's why pip, pip is very important for us in, in this particular case. I have done that before and you can see that it is working as well and then you have to install playwright what is going to happen here is that it is going to install the browsers it is going to, it is going to install um the browsers it is going to install the the library in order to record videos automatically and and all the stuff that you need in order to run playwright in your computer right now that we have installed playwright successfully in our system we're gonna start a um, coding a, an asynchronous and asynchronous script using Playwright. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a new file. It is going to be sync.py, which is a Python extension, basically, right? And we're going to start with the asynchronous, or I'm sorry, the synchronous script. I have some notes here uh, to try to avoid my my mistakes, but I'll try to. Well, you're going to see a lot of mistakes here. I'm sorry for that, guys. So let's just start with the from. Uh, I need to uh, um, use the playwright that a sync API that has to be imported from the synchronous playwright library. All right, that's it. Um, I'm going to need this from this particular library. All right, that's cool. Now, I'm going to declare a um, with statement, okay? And I'm going to be using the synchronous playwright import that we just declared before, right? And I need to use this with, uh, um, I need to call that, and then use as p, and that's basically what I need. Uh, I'm going to be... Basically, I'm going to use the, the sync playwright import with this alias P. That's basically what, what we're doing here. And now I need to declare a browser variable that is going to be equal to P. That um, Here we can decide which browser we need to or we want to run. In my case, I want to show you that I can use Chromium, for example. Right, then I'm gonna be using launch. I'm gonna be using launch, and that's the command that I need. The next step is going to be that I need to declare a page, and the page is going to be using the browser, and I need to declare a new page over here. Okay, and this new page that we have declared is gonna be used in the next line in order to go to any URL, okay? And inside of the go to, we can go, for example, to this particular website, which is uh, what's my user agent.org, for example, right? You can use any other website, of course. So let's go ahead and do it. And then in order to show you how to take screenshots, for example, we can use the screenshot 
command and inside of this um, line of code we can define the path or the name right that you want to assign to that particular screenshot so i want to call it for example png and then we just have to call the browser that close in order to well close the browser instance that we just run before right now that i have declared all this code if i am not wrong it should work how we do it how we can run it python mm -hmm. sync that pi there it is let's see if it works or not all right it is running right now and you can see that it works but we didn't see anything displayed in the in the in the screen right but we have a demo that png here the reason of this is because chromium is launching automatically in headless mode but if we want to run it in headed mode we need to use the headless in false when we're launching the browser at the beginning okay so let, let's go ahead do it execute it again you can see that now it is working as expected now let's let let me give you another example uh, because um i want to run an asynchronous um an asynchronous script using async io right which is a library that we also have in python so i'm going to use async.py i'm going to create another file named async.py and um well here i need to well from um let me show let me see my notes from playwright mm -hmm. playwright and we need to use the as async api mm -hmm. just what we did before but now using async and i need to use or import the function async playwright Here we have a difference because in the in the last script as you remember we needed only to use the with statement to use the function with this particular alias however in this particular case i i don't need to declare an async function um called for example main just to give you an example right and this particular function is going to be needed to be well run using another library which is import async io okay so as soon as as i do this probably i can do for example print right i'm gonna give you an example test and i can run the main function using the async io library that run so i can declare or actually call my main execution over here so if i come here and i call the async pi execution you can see that the test print is working fine we're calling the main function over here right that's basically what it what it is happening so um, i'm gonna do well something like i did before i'm gonna declare uh with the async playwright import that we did before i'm gonna well actually well i need to do this in function and use an alias for that as p right and now i'm gonna do basically the same stuff a browser variable which is gonna be equal to await in this case p that um chromium we can use firefox to give you another example right p that firefox that launch we can say that i don't want to run this in headless right now so it is gonna be equal to false and then I need to create a page which is going to be equal to await a browser that new page, right? That's it. And then I can do an await page uh, that go to, and I can go to any website that I want. In this case, it is going to be what's my user agent. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah and then the print is going to be changed a bit because i want to get from the page await page that title what is going to happen here is that it is going to come here to the page and we're going to be getting the title from from this website and if we check the title it is it should be what's my user agent and it is going to be displayed in the print in the console right basically so now that i have done that i want to do a browser that close and well it should close the instance of that so let's go ahead and do it we have a lot of errors <laughs> that's okay let's let's review what is happening in the line 
Number 12, it is not working because Ising KO is not doo -doo -doo until complete. In line 5, Async Playwright. Let me check, probably I'm doing something wrong here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see, of course, I'm missing an Async. Yeah, call here. There it is. Let's see. That's it. You can see that, uh, well, we have an error, but was never awaited and we need an await here too. I'm sorry, guys. There it is. You can see that as soon as I run again my command, we have in the terminal the title of the website. What's my user agent? And that's how we can run synchronous and asynchronous mode with Playwright. So I'm telling you, please support this video with a lot of likes and comments because in the next one, we're going to be running Playwright with PyTest. PyTest, from my point of view, has a lot of features that we can take advantage of and I hope that you enjoy it as well. So thank you guys. I hope that you enjoy this and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.